Hello everybody, in this video I'm just going to show you some um, techniques that I use for my little uh, sleepy fox pen drawing. Uh, I don't think I've done, done many um, or any videos before about uh, drawing with a pen, which is um, a bit different of course than uh, with a pencil. And, um, so I'll just um, show you how I draw the fur. Um, I'm close to be finished actually with this one, as you can see. Um, just have the ear here to do, and a bit here and um, behind the ear. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Actually, the, uh, the, the, the technique is not all that different than when you draw with pencil. You just draw strokes. I'm just going to show you on a different um, piece of paper, this one, the sheets, the se separate sheets. You just draw strokes, like that. To draw fur. And if you have longer fur, longer hairs, you draw longer strokes, like that. If you have shorter fur, then of course you make short strokes. Like this is really short fur, like on the nose. Here, for example, what I've been doing here, it's like really short, short strokes. Strokes like that. The only thing about drawing with a pen, of course, is um, yeah, you have to really control it because if you press too hard, then you just get this. And that's not, of course, not gonna look real. I mean, you see that the fur here is really light, so then you have to make sure that not much ink comes out of the pen. And I often hold it at an, um, at an angle, like that, instead of like that, more in an angle, like this because then less, less ink comes out of it and I don't press it all, I practically let the weight of the pen do the work like even more like that give more an angle I use a very thin thin pen, it's a very thin point it's, this one is 0 0.05 which is uh, very good for um, drawing fur, I find. Especially because, um, as you can see, um, this is a very small drawing. Um, when you make a bigger drawing, then um, yeah, you can use a pen that's a bit uh, thicker. Okay, let's um, draw the fur on the um, ear. Um, you might say, well, we hardly see anything happening, but and that's true for me as well. But the longer you do it, the more you see you build it up. Like it's almost like um, it's actually like you work in layers a bit. And um, yeah, you can better do not enough than too much, since. Um, if you do too much, if you have like um, something like this, then yeah, forget about it. And uh, there's no eraser or whatever for it to fix that again. So um, you can always add things, but you can't really take away things from it. It's actually the same I use for pencil because I don't like you to use erasers in a pencil either. in a pencil drawing Then 
it's a bit tricky also by the ear because the hair goes in um, different directions here of course it's uh, darker so I can um, press a bit harder and I also prefer to put the, um, the drawing in an angle like this because now I have to draw the um, the hairs in that direction and it's, it's it's easier to work like away from you to make smoother strokes than that you have to like uh, work in this really weird angle um, in order to go into the correct um, direction for it. So as you can see, I'm just going to put it in an, um, an angle now. I always do this really careful. Um, the hairs are like, it's like a lot of white hair here in the air. Ear. I mean, and um, so I... Um, I, I do this really, really careful because with ink, it's 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 um, it's really easy to have too much, and that is too dark. You can um, practice this best by just uh, doing it on a separate sheet and just practice the technique. Especially after I just bought a new pen, I just use a different a separate sheet and um, see how it feels, um, the ink and everything, so I know how to control the um, pen instead of using the pen immediately on a drawing that you're working on. Um, you see that I'm also working towards me, and also that that also um, yeah, feels more natural to me, just like away from me or or towards me. As long as you feel like you can make like really smooth strokes, that's that's really important about it.
I also go um, back and forth like this when when um, at places where it needs to be darker you can just like I do this a bit like um, making very natural strokes as well they just go back and forth because it all needs to be like filled in and this part here behind the ear needs to be quite dark so and, um, with this here I'm, I'm being a lot more careful since there's just has to be still a lot of whites I started this project um, um, in my 15 minute breaks at work because um, yeah, uh, during my evening shifts at uh, the 15 minute breaks that I have there are not um, many other people and it's a bit quiet so I just thought it would be nice to do some drawing I'm just going to go here to the ear There needs to be quite a lot of black So I'm making it darker really short strokes I'm doing here as you can see because here the edge of the ears like really tiny hairs and then here you have like a lot longer hairs behind the ear so we make really long strokes Inside the air. It's all about um, like natural movement, doing as as natural and smooth as possible. Because if you if you make um, yeah, if if you just if you do it like this, then it's just not gonna look natural. I mean, this is just a stripe, and it's not. It's all about making these really smooth movements. And it takes some practice, but... Um, it's all about making movements like that. To make it look realistic and natural. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this little fellow for uh, a bit more and, um, and um, wrap up this video if you have any suggestions, things you would like to learn, something you would like me to do a video about let me know in the comments below and don't forget to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated about my um, latest videos um, I hope you um, enjoyed this video and I hope to see you with my next videos again bye